Hemp hasn't always been considered the bad boy of the herb family. For example, 200 years ago, we might have seen Ben Franklin pulling into Martha's Vineyard, hoping to find George Washington at home. The first stop in his tireless quest for more paper fiber. Hemp played a major role in the achievement of colonial independence and was a part of everyday life. George, still stiff as a fresh starch shirt, I see. And you, Ben, <laughs> healthy and still plump from all your fine indulgences, I see. George, only you could be eloquent enough to call me a glutton and still make it sound like a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and in how many ways has the good Lord been active in your life these days? I would call it an act of God if I could get enough paper to run my new almanac. But, uh... I would consider it a small miracle if Pumba could fix this. Oh, surely. Uh, have you talked to Thomas Jefferson? I hear his new strain oh, of Indian hemp has made him the biggest dealer in the colony. I've heard some good things about the flower of the Indian hemp. Here's one that I grew from Tom's strain. Sticky. 5,000 years of cultivation for hashish. I understand it works best if it's rendered seedless. Oh, uh, yes, I know. I was late in pulling my mails this season. Shame, George. Not pulling your mails does not make good sense. So then, what the vein I've been hearing about? It helps me calculate more accurately when the ships might come in. And besides which, it saves me the five-mile walk to the dock every day. Uh, a brisk daily walk's good for the color, Ben. I'm too busy with the almanac. Hmm, burning the midnight oil, are you? What I can get of it, what with the whale oil shortage and all. During this last shortage, Tom gave me some lamp oil pressed from hemp seed. He grew enough hemp seed to make oil? Oh, yes. The harvest from his new strain was just too overwhelming for his workers. He asked me to lend him a... Hemping hand. Tell me, Ben, why haven't we been seeing more of that newspaper that you've been doing? Quite frankly, Tom, there's been a lot less of that newspaper that I'm doing. With the newsprints being on ration, I just don't have an, enough paper to, to put out any volume at all. You know, I've been meaning to ask you, don't you think it would be a good idea if I had my own mill? Well, if you base that mill and the paper you made out of it on hemp, it certainly would be. I grew so much hemp this year from that hemp strain that after I used all I could, I still had enough left over to pay all uh, my that, taxes that with is, hemp. That is I'm sure news. it would grow enough for good mills. News. Don't you think that the uh, colonists could be persuaded to grow a little bit more than their mandatory 10%? Well, I've been writing letters to every farmer I know all over the country here to get them to grow more and more hemp on their land for the colony needs. You know, if the colonists grew more hemp, we wouldn't need Georgie Porgy. Tom, I've been doing some more experimenting with electricity. Didn't you write me about that, Dan? Something to deal with thunderstorms and a kite? That's right. I fly kites in thunderstorms, and I'm convinced that I can harness the electricity from the lightning and bring it right down the court. Fascinating. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't keep the kite up in the air in a thunderstorm. The string breaks. Oh, you have to use a finer hemp string from the strain that uh, we've been growing lately. I've been using the hemp that you gave me a couple of years ago. Uh, this is the special one we got from China. That's, oh, that's the one you nearly lost your life trying to get that out. And a few agents of mine almost lost their lives. It seems the Emperor of China would kill anyone who would try to smuggle this strain of hemp out. But we got it into Turkey and then France, and I brought it over here, and it's doing really well, Ben. That's interesting. I'd like to try that. Do you know, 
how well is it doing? Is it producing more per acre than anything you've used before? More abundant than anything we've ever used. A lot I more, and so much more, in fact, that we've had to remanufacture, practically reinvent the hemp break. The hemp break? Ah, oh, good, Ben. Pumba just finished that repair for you. Ah, oh, good. What is it, Ben? You look, uh, you look a bit queasy. It's the ride. You know, it sometimes upsets my stomach. I've been thinking of improving the ride by, by adding certain springs to an already designed body. I think ben, that I could... Ben, how about brewing up a cup of indica tea for that nausea? I thought you'd never ask. And a, a pinch for my pipe? Not only a pinch for your pipe, but we'll send some home with you as well. Pumba, why don't you fill a satchel? for Ben from the drying rack. No satchel, Mr. Washington. Never mind, Pumba, just, just put them in here. Let's go brew that tea for you. Ah, the Indica tea. Mr. Franklin, don't forget your pet. Mr. Franklin, don't forget your pet. Mr. Franklin, don't forget your pet.